You know, there's three basic aspects to putting. There's the mechanics, uh, which is, involves your setup, your grip, your posture, the type of stroke that you have, all that's mechanics. Then you have speed control, which is trying to roll the ball with the right consistent speed. And then you have reading greens. And I think the least most practiced is reading greens. I don't think people are very good at reading greens, therefore they have a trouble making putts. And even if their speed is good and their stroke is good, they're still not gonna make them unless they read them right. So what I have here is I have what's called a right on line. I'm gonna show you how to practice reading greens. This is by far the best tool. This, this tool actually works on all three of those things at the same time, but today we're using it for reading greens. And what I'm doing here is I'm gonna stand behind, I'm gonna place a ball, what I'd normally do is I'd place a ball on the ground, like let's say that was my ball, and I'd go back and I'd read the putt. Then what I would do is I'd take the right on line and I'd set it over the ball. Now what I, I've already done this, so I'm gonna set the ball right here. So the right on line, the bars are right over the line, or right over the ball, and they're on the line that I picked. Then what you do is you take your setup and you go ahead and hit some putts. and you see if you make the putt. And if you, let's say I, that one, I, I kind of missed just slightly on the high side, so it was a really good putt. I hit it maybe just a little too hard. So what I would do then is I, I probably had a pretty good read. If I hit it just a hair softer, it's right in the middle of the hole, okay? If I underread the putt, which most people tend to do, then what I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna move this around until I start making the putts, and then I'm gonna realize how much, I did, how much off I was in my original read. Now the nice part about the right on line, and I'm, you know, just to show you if you ever want a great tool, it has a mouse hole in it right here, and if, you, if, the, if the putter face is off, it won't roll out of the hole. If the putter face is square at impact, then it goes out of the hole. So it helps with mechanics as well. The other thing that this would help you to do is if you're rolling the ball out of here with the right line, then you have to have the proper speed. So if I was to hit 10 putts in a row, and if I could make seven out of 10, I'd probably have a pretty good repeating stroke with, with good speed. So initially it's a green reader. If you don't use one, something like this or a tool like this, what I'd recommend that you do is take a couple clubs out and uh, you, again, you take the ball, you stand back, you read the putt. I'm gonna bend down and do this real quick. So, what I'm doing now is I'm going to make a little alleyway for my putter and I'm going to see if I read the putt right. Okay, so I didn't make it. So now what I'm going to do again is I'm going to adjust these clubs to play more break and see if that works to see how much better I get here. I just hit a bad putt there. But you get the idea. What I'm going to do is I'm going to keep moving this around until I make the putt just a hair too much. So then I can look back and I can really see where I actually was playing it. So it's really important to spend a little bit of time uh, practicing, even if you're just warming up before you go play, on reading greens and actually testing yourself on a right to lefter, then go over and work on a left to right putt. Because a lot of times you, you'll overread maybe the right to lefters and underread the left to right. So you have to kind of practice that to make sure that you get it right. If you're interested in the right online, which is probably one of the best putting tools that you could find, it's on my website under the training aids at mikebender.com. So, and it gives a description and it shows a little bit more in detail. But you need to have some tools and you need to have a way of practicing reading greens in order to get better at it. So try to work on that a little bit and see if you can't make more putts.